Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team, and today I wanted to share some important information about tax deductions when it comes to selling a home. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thanks so much for watching. Today I wanted to share a few tips about tax deductions that can help you when you're selling a home. Now, many of these deductions are regular expenses associated with a sale. So things like commissions, escrow, title fees, any inspections that you do on the home, and frequently staging can also be deductions against the profit that you make off of the sale. So ultimately, this means putting more money in your pocket. Now, with that being said, the any repairs that you do prior to the home going on the market can frequently also be deducted. Now, those, many of those repairs have to be done about 90 days prior to the sale. So if it's something that's a bigger project, you may wanna check with your tax person to see if they can write that off or check with your contractor to see if they can get that done within that three months prior to the sale or the IRS may not recognize it. Now, what else can be deducted? Uh, the property taxes are something that can be deducted when it comes to a home. So not necessarily when you're selling a home, but the year in which you purchase that home, any property taxes can be deducted and going forward. Uh, it would be prorated from the date you purchase up until the date you close. So now the big thing that's changed for that, especially here in California, is that you can only deduct, and this changed back in 2018, up to $10,000 of property taxes. Now with prices today, many people pay in excess of $10,000. So you can only deduct a maximum of that $10,000. Now the other thing that you can deduct is mortgage interest. Now again, back in 2018, the tax law changed and now you can only deduct on mortgage interest up to $750,000. Good news is if you did purchase your home prior to 2018, you can still deduct up to a million dollars in mortgage interest. So good news for those of you who purchased before that. Now capital gains tax exclusion. Now this is where it comes back into importance for people who are selling a home. If you've owned a home for more two out of the last five years and lived in it as your primary residence, you can write off $250,000 of capital gains tax-free if you're a single person or $500,000 as a married couple. Now, with the rapidly increasing prices over the last couple of years, some people surpass that. So then you would pay capital gains tax above those amounts. But some of the, the tax write-offs that I mentioned previously can also help you in deducting those expenses. Now, if you did make bigger improvements on your home, and let's say you have uh, $600,000 in gain from when you sold, purchased your home and you're selling your home now, and you get your $500,000 deduction, if you made a bunch of improvements to the home over the time you owned it, you can also use a lot of that to write off to help reduce the amount of gain you have. Again, tax tax professionals will be able to help you to calculate that exactly and figure out how much that would net you in your pocket and have to pay in capital gains, if any. The last thing is that you can deduct discount points from your mortgage as well. So many buyers today with the higher interest rate environment are paying points to buy down an interest rate. So if you wanna do that, you can write that off as well. One last tip. If you, if you are an active duty military personnel, you can also write off your moving expenses as well. So a good thing to know. And if you have any questions about this or any other real estate related things, feel free to give us a call. We're always here to help. You can reach us at 562-316-2915 or you can email at melinda at Thanks so much for watching and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.